can't be childish sometimes. Hi everyone, welcome to episode 62 of the Omega Podcast. I am Wes, and today we're going to be looking at the new Doctor Who encyclopedia on the iPad. Alright, let's take a look at this brand new app for the iPad. We'll click on the icon. Now the Doctor Who encyclopedia only does cover the Doctor Who universe up to the, the 9th, 10th, and 11th Doctor. The menus for this encyclopedia on the iPad are top-notch. Um, as you can see, that they do have the doctor, the objects, allies, um, laces, places. <clears throat> Here's the welcome screen. If you do want to see who the credits are, um, you can see that it was by BBC Books and Brand Width. Kind of goes over general things on here. Here's the navigation in your encyclopedia. On here we can see that you have the three doctors that are covered within this encyclopedia. The 11th, the 10th, and the 9th. Let's make them sick. Across the top you see that we do have the doctor, allies, enemies, places, objects, galleries. All laid out very nicely. Let's go to the doctor. Now the scrolling menus across this app are done extremely well. Um, just general information on here, but it really makes it fun just to kind of <laughs> scroll through and see all the information that they do have in here. If you're looking for information on the Time War, click on that. You can easily scroll through and read, up, read about it. Want to find something else? Click. You can bring that up. Want to learn about the family Slavine? Here's the doctor. You can add that to your favorites for easier finding. Here's the TARDIS. But just graphically, this is laid out so nicely how it just streamlined from you know Gallifrey background to the doctor all the way over here it's done just top-notch so now under allies you can either find friends or companions and typically under each one of these you do find a couple that are really pointed out like Roy Williams and River Song on this one where they've done a little bit more in-depth of um, research and laid things out for that particular person so here we have River Song, and they talk about the Pandorica. Here's Canton Everett, Delaware the Third. Vashta Narada. Let's take a look at the enemies. Now for the enemies, they do go through here, and you can you know scroll through and look for pictures. Well, they do have an uh, alphabetical listing of enemies that have been seen since the uh, series has started and again in 2005. Um, but really between the Cyberman and the Daleks, or should I say Daleks, um, they have, a, again, menus that, uh, or screens that have been really put together really nicely. So on the Cybermen, we can go through here and find the Cyber Shades, information on them, Ms. Hardigan, um, different Cybermen, here's the Pandorica Alliance, they talk about that. Even go back and talk about John Lumick, who created uh, this universe of Cybermen. The Cyber King, information on that. Done really well. I was a little bit surprised to see that they had um, Craig listed in here. He was in one episode. Um, just, I thought it was kind of odd to have him in here. I know Miss Hardigan was in one episode as well, but um, didn't. I thought they could maybe find another... Um, piece of Cyberman history that would kind of fit in here. They just kind of felt like they threw Craig in there because he was just in one of the most recent episodes with them. We'll hit back. See if we want to go to places. Places. 
places and times we can go through here and find oh Arcadia kind of information on here they will if they do have a picture of it they'll show a little photo icon or a camera icon here's area 52 that was just in the series 6 finale just a lot of fun it makes reading through it a lot uh, it, it makes it interesting um, the paper version or the card back book of this um, has a, a lot of good information in, in there as well um, so in here we kind of went over to different objects we'll look at the doctor for interactive portals that's where we were before so let's chop over to the gallery A lot of the pictures that you probably found on the website when the series was going on, some of them um, they haven't been listed before, at least that I have not seen. So just a lot of fun. Now if you're looking for information on series, there's a series button here on the main page. And that goes over the latest six episodes, or six series I should say and all those what those episodes were and what they were about so now in here since I have went to series one I have not purchased that yet I only have the fifth and sixth series but if you are interested in buying them you can go to go out here and as you can see you can add the tenth doctor for four pounds and ninety nine cents I believe the ninth doctor costs that much as well. The Doctor Who Encyclopedia um, for the iPad is very well put together. Graphically, I don't think you'll find anything that's um, um, as entertaining as what's been out there before for the iPad. The information and time that they've put into making the menus interactive and uh, having the data easy to find, they have did a very good job on. I did notice that there are some bugs while, it, while you're using it, even after upgrading the system software, well, d where it does kick you back out, out and you have to reboot the program. I don't know if this is something that will be worked on or, uh, or upgraded as an issue, or if it's, they'll just let it be, but uh, for the price, I think it's well worth it. Um, especially if you do own an iPad. If uh, um, the print version of this, which I'm looking at as well, um, another nice nice piece to add to your collection. But for an iPad, if you are a Doctor Who fan and you have an iPad, this is definitely something that you do want to purchase. Well, that wraps up episode 62 of the Omega Podcast. We'll see you in two weeks at Chicago TARDIS. Uh, make sure to drop by the podcasting panel. I'll be there. Liz will be there. Uh, we'll be walking around Chicago TARDIS. Uh, if you do want to have any feedback that you want to send us, you can send it to the Omega Podcast at hotmail.com. Otherwise, we'll see you in two weeks. Make sure to visit our website, www.theomegapodcast.hotmail.com. Thanks and good luck.